I am Anil Kumar and this video is for my YouTube subscriber Alexander. Alexander, thanks for your request of understanding range for such composite functions. The question here is, given f of x equals to square root of 4 minus x square and g of x equals to square root of 5 plus x square, find g of f and then state its domain and range. So let us follow the steps and find g of f first. So let's begin by g of f. g of f means that we really want to find g. g is the function square root of 5 plus x squared and f is the function square root of 4 minus x squared. So that means g of f means square root of 4 minus x squared. Right. So now, now we can replace this value of square root of 4 minus x squared in the function g of x to find g of x. So what we get here is square root of, let me write the outside function as square root of 5 plus and now we'll write square of all that, right? So square of square root of 4 minus x square square. So that is that is g of f, right? So from here, let's continue. So when you open this square, square root thing, what you get really here is square root of 5 plus 4 minus x square, right? So this is what you get here. 5 plus 4 is 9, so we get square root of 9 minus, 9 minus x square. So that becomes the function g of f. Now the interesting part of this question was to find domain and range of the given function. Now as you can see that the domain of f is restricted, right? So let's talk about domain of f of x. f of x is given to us as square root of 4 minus x square. Now this function, if you sketch this function, you get a semicircle kind of like this. where if I write x equals to 0 you get square root of 4 so this value is 2 for you right so so the maximum is 2 for you and if I write x as plus minus 2 then you get 0 so that is the domain and range of the function f of x clearly for f of x the permitted values are that x is greater than or equals to minus 2 and is less than or equals to 2 right now since we have g of f of x that means the domain is restricted with the domain of f of x right so how we do get a function which is square root of 9 minus x squared if you try to figure out domain from here you could say that the domain is between plus and minus 3 but the domain is restricted right there at this stage do you see that if i write 3 here i get 4 minus 9 which is a complex number which is not real right and therefore we have domain of the function as so domain of g of f is restricted from here is subset of of domain of f of x right so in this case it is <coughs> it is going to be x is going to be between minus 2 and plus 2 right so that becomes the domain of our function now if the domain is this then what is going to be the range and that was your real question right so let's now figure out what is range of g of f right so now we know g of f is square root of 9 minus x square where the values of x are between minus 2 to 2 right this is another way of writing it correct so let us test it out so let's put, substitute different values or we could even sketch this function so what is g of f of minus 2 right so if i substitute minus 2 here i get 9 minus 
minus of 2 whole square which is square root of 9 minus 5 4 which is equals to square root of 5 correct so that becomes one value when I write plus or minus right even if I write plus here then this becomes plus whole square and uh, the square root of 9 minus 4 because this is squared so we get the same value let us also find what is g of f of 0 right since that will be the minimum number taken away from 9 giving us the maximum for this function so that will be square root of 9 minus 0 square and that gives you square root of 9 and which is 3 right so so you can see from here that the range of function of g of f is is actually equals to y belongs to real numbers where the minimum value is square root 5 right so where y is greater than or equals to square root of 5 and is less than or equals to 3 correct so that is so as you see the range of the function g of f is equals to uh, is between square root 5 and 3 so let us actually sketch this out and see how the function looks like right so it is again kind of a semicircle since it is like uh, square root of 9 minus x square however the domain is restricted right so initially you would think as if the circle is kind of like this right you will think like this but however because of that restriction the real circle which we are looking into is indeed equal to so we are restricted to plus minus 2 so let us say these are the values at plus minus 2 this is minus 2 and, and so 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 it is and this is plus 2 correct so so the function for us g of f is only the top half you get the idea right so that is the function and the domain and range which we are talking about is is within this portion so that is the fu function for us you can clearly see that the domain is from plus 2 to minus 2 right and the range is between these two values so that is how we can summarize this i hope that helps so alexander if you are clear about it it's good and if you need more help i'll provide you with some links which will take you to a uh, few more functions where we're discussing domain and range of composite functions i hope that helps thank you and all the best